Hi everyone, this is level three video for the explanatory research project. Today we are going to be talking about creating MLA citations, the work for the work cited, as well as an appositive. So let's get started. So when we have to create MLA citations, you want to think about the documentation style you would be using. So for our class, for English language arts, we use MLA and some other teachers in other disciplines use MLA as well. Uh, some, some teachers use APA, the American Psychological Association, some uh, social studies teachers use Chicago, but for us, we are going to use the Modern Language Association's documentation style, which requires a work cited with a list of citations, separate citations for each source, as well as parenthetical citations, uh, last name and parentheses with a page number, thing, information like that. So MLA citations um, have some basic rules. We're going to look at electronic sources because many of you are utilizing electronic sources predominantly. So for a typical online electronic source from a web page or a periodical, say the New York Times online or People Magazine or something like that, you are going to have your last name, the author's last name with a comma, the first name with a period. Then you're going to have the title of the article or web page in quotation marks, and then the title of the periodical or website in italics. The date published, a URL, and then a date accessed. Okay, so that's the basic, these are the basic rules. So I have a source that I um, want to use, and so I'm going to open that up and want to take a look at some of these items. Okay, so if we are going to need an author's last name, first name, the title in quotation marks, if you just take a look at what we see here, um, you're going to see that we do have an author, first and last name. We have the title of the page, the web page. We have a website title, okay, which you can also see here in the URL. We know that it was published a year ago, so in 2019, and we know today's date. So we have the information necessary to make our MLA citation, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at each of these items. So we're gonna move on to the sample here. So again, this is what we're looking for. Author's last name, first name. Nemiroff and Brienne. We have the benefits of using organic and natural skin care. So that was the, um, the title of the web page that we went to, okay? Then One Green Planet was the web site, so that's why that's italicized. 2019, I copy and pasted the URL, and you can leave the hyperlink, and then accessed on this date. Okay, I accessed it a few a while ago, okay? So this is very important because now I have this particular, the MLA Works Cited Citation completed, and this will eventually go onto uh, my document, that my assignment, okay? Now, there are other um, types of electronic sources that you may be interested in using, okay? So, you can, I've linked, and I'll put this on the Google Classroom so you can have access to it. So the electronic sources um, has all of these, has all this information here, okay? And so here's a page on a website, which we did. Um, a lot of you might be using an article from a web magazine, okay? Um, you might be using a scholarly journal, 
hopefully if you are, you got it from Info Ohio and it has the citation already made. Um, you might be using a blog posting uh, from a reputable source. Look, there's even tweets. Um, a YouTube video, okay? Um, and so there are lots and lots of electronic sources that can be utilized um, on um, you know, on this Purdue OWL, and this is on the Google Classroom, so please uh, know that that's all been given to you. So then um, we're going to move on then to our positive. So this is, a, an, a, this is essentially your source introduction information. So before you cite anything in uh, an MLA document, formatted document or project, you have to introduce your source. And so I'm using the term a positive, okay? So this is what I'm going to call it from now on. And a positive, essentially, in a grammatical standpoint, is a noun phrase that provides more clarity and specificity, which is necessary in a research project to show that you have found credible information. So if you're able to give some information about the author's credentials, the occasion, and a quick summary, then you're building your credibility as a writer as well as a researcher. So you need to clarify or specify the following elements. The author's last name, if no author, then use the organization or website name, okay? Um, the credentials, what do we know about this person? The title, Use correct MLA format. So for the title, it should be in quotation marks unless you're referring to an entire website, of which you shouldn't. Um, the occasion, is it an article? Is it a video? Is it a web page? Is it a blog post? Okay. And then a one to two sentence maximum summary, just an overview of the source. Okay. Just so you can show your, your reader, your um, audience member, what is the basic information about this source, okay? So here's my sample from the website I found from the citation. So I have, I found out, I did a little quick search, I clicked on her name on the website, and she's a freelance writer from Los Angeles, California. Her credentials, she, she, her, she specializes in vegetarian travel, which I have no idea what that is, um, non-toxic beauty and entertainment interviews. So non-toxic beauty, if that's a specialty of hers, that gives her some credibility. The title, the benefits of using organic and natural skincare. Um, you'll see here that it is a web page from an eco-friendly website. Um, and then I have a quick summary. She presents information about the misconceptions and truths about switching to organic and natural skincare and offers insight on brands to consider. So that is my, um, my positive. So your turn is to go to Google Classroom, to our class and the Classwork tab, choose the level three assignment under the explanatory research project topic, open the Google Doc and get started and create your MLA citations and a positives. Feel free to ask as many questions as you can think of during our workshop days, okay? This is an important skill to at least become familiar with. You won't, I don't know that you'll ever memorize the MLA citation formats, but you'll get really adept at it and it will become second nature, I promise.